Welcome to the discussion of class 8 mathematics NCRT solution. Now we are going to discuss exercise 9.5 question 4 from the chapter algebraic expression and identities. So the question says simplify and when we look over the problem, the problem is all related to identities. So basically here prominently we are going to use two identities. The first identity is a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and we are going to use the second identity which is a minus b whole square which is nothing but a square plus b square minus 2ab. Now let us solve the problem one by one using the identities. So here a square minus b square whole square. So this is very clearly related to the identity to a minus b whole square. So now substituting to it, we know it is a square whole square plus b square whole square minus 2 times a square into b square. So now when we simplify this, we would get a to the power of 4 plus b to the power of 4 minus 2 a square b square. Hope this part of the question is clear. Moving to the second problem here. So here this part is in the format of a plus b whole square whereas this part is in the format of a minus b whole square. So we need to use both the identities here. So this would be 2x whole square plus 5 square plus 2 into 2x into 5 minus all these inside brackets. So this is 2x whole square plus 5 square minus 2 into 2x into 5. So now when we expand this we get 4x square plus 25 plus 5 to the 10, 10 to the 20x minus 4x square plus 25 minus 20 x. Now let us open up the bracket which is equal to 4x square plus 25 plus 20x minus 4x square minus 25 plus 20x. So now when we simplify this further positive 4x square negative 4x square get cancelled. Positive 25 negative 25 get cancelled. So we are left out with 40 X. So this is the final answer which we get after multiplication. Now going to the next part of the question. Here again it is a minus b whole square and we need to apply a plus b whole square here. So now expanding this we get 7m whole square plus 8n whole square minus 7 into 2 into 7m into 8n plus 7m whole square plus 8n whole square plus 2 into 7m into 8n. So this is nothing but 49m square plus 64n square minus 16m into n because here it is 2 times 2 times of uh, 7, 2 times 8, no, this we need to recalculate here. So, this is 7m here. So, this would be 2 times 7, 7 times is 49, 7, 8 times is 56mn plus 49m square plus 64n square plus 2 into 56 mn which is equal to 49 m square plus 64 n square. So here when we multiply this we would get 2 into 56 is 112 mn plus 49 m square plus 64 n square 
plus 112 mn. So now when we further simplify this, negative 112 mn and positive 112 mn gets cancelled. So this term and this term together, we can add it up to 49 plus 49 is 40 plus 40 is 80 and 99 together comes 18. So 80 plus 18 is 98 m square. 60 plus 60 is 120, 4 plus 4 is 8, so it is 128 n square is the final answer which we get. Moving to the next part of the question. Here again we need to apply a plus b whole square formula twice here. So this would be 4 m square plus 5 n square plus 2 into 4m into 5n plus 5m square plus 4n square plus 2 into 5m into 4n. So this would be 4m whole square is 16m square plus 5n whole square is 25n square plus 5, 4 times is 20, 22 times is 40 mn plus 25 m square plus 16 n square plus 5, 2 times is 10, 10, 4 times is 40 mn. So, this is m here. So, now when we simplify this, we have like terms. 25 plus 16 is 35, 40, 41 m square and again here this is 41 n square plus 80 mn when we add these two together. So this is the final answer. Moving to the next part of the question. Here again we need to apply a minus b whole square formula for each of them. So this is 2.5 p whole square plus 1.5 q whole square minus 2 into 2.5 p into 1.5 q minus again when we apply the same formula here it would be 1.5 p whole square plus 2.5 q whole square minus 2 into 1.5 p into 2.5 q. So now further when we simplify this, this would be 2.5 into 2.5, 2.5 p whole square is 6.25 p square plus 2.25 q square minus here when we multiply 2 into 2.5 is 5. So it is 5.0 p or 5 p into 1.5 q minus here it is 2.5 p square plus 6.25 q square minus here again when I multiply these two terms I get 5 q into 1.5 p. So now going further with the calculation it would be 6.25 p square plus 2.25 q square here it is 15 5 times is 7.5 pq. Here when we remove the brackets it is plus 2.25 p square. Sorry it is negative into positive. Here it is negative 2.25 p square. Negative 6.25 q square. Again negative into negative is positive. Here it is 7.5 pq. 
Now when we simplify this further, so we have a common term here, positive and negative which get cancels out. Now we are left out with 6.25 p square minus 2.25 p square plus 2.25 q square minus 6.25 q square. So this is here 6.25 minus 2.25 is 4 p square. 2.25 minus 6.25 is minus 4 q square which is the final answer. Now going to the next part of the question. Now coming over to this problem we know here we need to apply a plus b whole square formula. So this would be a square b square plus b square c square plus 2b square ac minus 2ab square c. So now here this is nothing but a square b square plus b square c square plus 2ab square c minus 2ab square c. So this is nothing but this and this cancels out. So we are left out with a square b square plus b square c square. This is the final answer. Going on to the next question now. Now here again we need to apply the formula a minus b whole square. So this would be m square whole square plus n square m whole square minus 2 m square n square m plus the last term whichever is left out which is m cube n square. So here this would be m to the power of 4 plus m square n to the power of 4 minus 2 m cube n square plus 2 m cube n square. So now very clearly this term and this term gets cancelled. So we are left out with m to the power of 4 plus m square m to the power n to the power of 4. So this is the final answer. Hope you enjoyed this video. Meet you in the next video. Happy learning.